Hey guys, Cody with CJC Off-Road, and today we have a unique build for you. Coming all the way from Hawaii, actually not quite, the truck was purchased in California and came to us and put together as the perfect utilitarian build. It is a tradesman with the ultimate suspension package, the ultimate lighting package, and what we feel is just an extremely cool combination to take what uh, Ram pictured as a work truck and turn into both a work truck, a daily driver, an extremely comfortable truck, and a very fun truck to drive. Now, what I found really cool about this was instead of springing for that crazily option limited things like that, he actually took his budget, segmented the X amount of dollars for a truck and got him everything he wanted. And then was able to put in the money into aftermarket options and really achieve, again, this kind of perfect build. So for those of you out there who are trying to figure it out and you know clicking every box on Ram or Ford's website, you really don't need to spring for the $95,000 truck if you don't have a use for it, right? So this really is like a textbook way of setting up the truck for all the amenities that you would need. Again, it has the big screen, et cetera. And then pairing, taking that money that you would have given to Chrysler, put it in aftermarket components and really build a unique package for yourself. From the top, this truck came to us straight from the dealership. They actually have one of their drivers drop it off. This is a tradesman edition with a bigger screen. So it's a very unique truck and the customer did purchase it or go on the hunt to find the exact combination that he wanted. Starting with the suspension, it is very lackluster from the factory. We put the fully optioned in black anodized pin top three and a quarter inch system. This has the King pin top 2.5 inch diameter shocks, all custom tuned by Carly suspension. So it has their stainless shock shafts, their signature pistons, which you're not gonna find anywhere else. Going to all the upgrades, this is a three and a quarter inch kit. It's gonna have the torsion sway bar, which is really gonna free up that front end movement, allow them to hit driveways, etc. It's also gonna have the fabricated radius arms because why wouldn't you want that final cherry on the top? And while also looking good, they're gonna have some ride quality improvements when you do get to a suspension of this caliber. You do not want a radius arm with a vulcanized bushing. You're gonna be fighting the bushing's movement just to get suspension movement. You do not want that. You want a free moving joint in your radius arm like what's included with the Carly fabricated radius arm. Moving to the rear end of this truck, it has again the Carly three and a quarter inch system. So it'll have the one inch rear lift coils, the Carly signature 2.5 shocks, the track bar drop, as well as the Carly end link kit. Now, one thing to note, we did actually put in the Firestone airbag system paired up with the Daystar airbag cradles. For those of you who are not familiar with what this uh, airbag combination is, again, it is the Daystar airbag cradle being paired up with a set of Firestone twin Bella airbags. Now, Carly suspension does not have their uh, proprietary long travel airbags for these trucks. So this is gonna be the option that's gonna work the best. And what it does is the axle is gonna be allowed to fully drop out, get that full droop travel. And yet when the truck is uh, squatted from having a load, you're able to inflate those bags and get the load support that you need. Now, I believe I didn't miss the steering stabilizers. We went with the Carly suspension stainless uh, stabilizer package. That's gonna control those 37 inch tires as well as the Carly differential guard. An extremely cheap piece of insurance if you will be driving anywhere with the rocks to keep you from blowing apart your front differential cover which is just a cheap piece of stamp steel from the factory. Now moving on to wheels and tires, he opted for our CJC spec 704 HDs from Method. This has their bead grip technology, so you can air down to you know as low as pressure as you want on the beach without having to worry about tossing a bead. It's gonna look good and it's gonna give you um, an inset wheel to keep it kind of flush with the fender well, and that's gonna maintain um, compliance in areas where you're not allowed to have tires sticking outside of the wheel well. I'm also gonna keep it from throwing rocks, uh, mud and everything down the side of your truck. And most importantly, it's actually gonna keep the trimming to a minimum at full lock with the 37 inch tires. Now he opted for the 37 by 1250 Nitto Ridge Grappler tire. Um, I think we can all attest it's pretty much a personal favorite as well as a company favorite. Um, and as we see with a lot of customer builds, it's probably one of the most popular tires in the country right now. Now moving on to the other options, uh, those of you the tradesmen know, this is one of the platforms that Ram is still using a halogen headlight bulb. He opted for the Morimoto XP lights, which is the top of the line Morimoto light, both an aesthetically pleasing light and a good performing light. We're actually just about to launch a video showing you the difference between all the different headlights out there. But yeah, it is an aftermarket headlight that's gonna look good and function a lot better than the factory halogens. From there, he did the CJC Tradesman fog light kit, which takes you from that plastic block off plate that Ram gives you and gives you two squadron sport lights, which are extremely bright and I think are probably the most aftermarket light needed for most purposes. 
but he had to go to the next level. He went with the Onyx 20 inch light bar kit from Baja Designs. That is the brightest 20 inch light bar in its class and it fits right behind that lower grill piece. So it's uh, stealth, if you will, yet when you need it, you hit the switch and you have a ton of light at your disposal. And since it was all apart, he went for the CJC Off-Road 5th Gen Intercooler Guard. Now that is uh, a pretty simple piece we designed and that's gonna get rid of that plastic valence. It's pretty ugly underneath the truck. So it's gonna get you more ground clearance. You're no longer gonna hit that. Yet still gives you a, uh, you know, a little bit of protection for your intercooler so it's not exposed when you just rip that chunk of plastic off the front of the truck. Now this is not something we do uh, super often with getting a vehicle shipped to us. However, this customer has uh, purchased plenty of systems from us in the past and he really just wanted to get a truck out here, built out here and shipped to him. Now, if you are in a different state or you're in an installation shop, we'd be happy to either pair you up with a good shop in your area or set up a new shop. Um, so don't feel that you have to buy the parts uh, and get the truck shipped to us or anything like that. We're happy to get you equipped wherever you're located and have a staff waiting to help you with any questions on the phone. With that said, I think this is the ultimate tradesman build to come out of CJC Off-Road in 2022. We look forward to all the opportunities that you wonderful customers present to us in the next year. And again, we just thank you for an excellent year. If you're new to this channel, give this video a like, give us a subscribe, and we'll see you guys on the next one.